are you wondering if the Sony ZV-1 cameras actually has got decent stabilization? So actually all three of these models uh, have some kind of stabilization. However, they do not have the most advanced inbuilt uh, image stabilization. So if you want to actually turn on the stabilization, let's go to the menu and you have to go basically in the movie tab on the top here, uh, number two, and then scroll down and scroll to the page number three and make sure the steady shot is either to the active or standard. So standard uh, will give some decent results, but really the active st like stabilization will give you the best results. If you actually turn off, uh, uh, then you won't get any stabilization whatsoever. And really the footage is kind of shaky. So, but uh, when you actually use the active steady shot, the sensor will crop in a bit. Okay, let me show you some real samples I recorded uh, showing no stabilization, active and standard stabilization. Okay, I'm walking without any stabilization whatsoever. Everything is turned off and this is what it looks like basically. Okay, let me zoom in. And this is what you can get stabilization when you have zoomed in at the maximum. I'm standing still and this is standard steady shot. And I'm simply walking with a standard steady shot. Okay, let's zoom in and this is what it looks like at the highest zoom and I'm standing and holding the camera still and we have the active steady shot so this should give the best result right now so I'm walking and let's see how it looks like again active steady shot okay let me zoom in zoomed into the maximum I'm walking a bit and I'm standing, try not to move. Okay, let's zoom out. And I will try to run right now. Okay, so I was basically running. And yeah, this is what you can expect when you basically run with a steady shot, an active steady shot. So overall, can I actually suggest the ZV-1 cameras if you actually want stable shots? Well, actually, if you are careful and kind of uh, pay attention on how you are filming, then I think you can actually get fairly decent results. So you won't get anything like super crazy good as you would get with a gimbal or maybe action cameras, but still I think if you actually enable the active steady shot, uh, then the footage really is still usable on all of these Sony ZV-1 cameras. All right, good luck.